the German investigation into the COVID scandal. This coming from Global Research and everything that we cite and source will always be included down in the show notes. The German Corona Investigative Committee, it's called. They've taken testimony from a large number of international scientists and experts since July 10th, 2020. And they've got a whole paper, and of course that will all be included in your show notes, but they basically helpfully put together their bullet point list, I think, of the conclusions. Such as, the corona crisis must be renamed the corona scandal, and there will be criminal prosecutions for crimes against humanity. Many scientists call this a PCR test pandemic, not a corona pandemic. Very healthy and non-infectious people may test positive, Likelihood of false positives is 89 to 94%, or basically near certainty. Mainstream media completely failed to report the true facts of the so-called pandemic. Politicians and media deliberately drove populations to panic. Evidence of gigantic health and economic damage to populations, and of course, bankruptcies expected in small and medium-sized businesses. Interesting enough, though, I think even if you, much like, again, this is the 9-11 in slow motion, if you even believe the official story... The parts don't add up. Normie doctors, COVID experts say there is another way. An interesting post on what is obviously a new website called Unheard, H-E-R-D, unheard.com. Three eminent epidemiologists met in Massachusetts to plan a better response to the pandemic. Which again, the, the, the cure has been far, far worse than the alleged disease. Here's another 10 experts questioning the coronavirus pandemic from the good folks at offguardian.org. Last month, Dr. Martin Feely forced to resign from his health board position after publicly stating that the virus wasn't dangerous and lockdown policies were doing more harm than good. A few days ago, Dr. Marcus De Bruyne, an Irish GP who resigned from his government pro- post in protest over their COVID policies, deleted his whole Twitter, but of course it's all been archived, and declared he was stepping back from public debate concerning the pandemic. These individuals paint a grander picture. Slowly but surely, the medical experts countering the pandemic narrative are being censored, removed, and completely pushed out of the conversation, if that sounds familiar, in other sectors of this world. When the last dissenting voice is finally shut down, that's exactly when, of course, the establishment will claim the science is settled. 